what's up? We just made it down here to Tavares, Florida. We just showed up to our house. We got a really awesome house for Florida. It's hard to find houses over here that can accommodate four trucks and boats. And I got Josh Bertrand, James Elam, myself, Roy Hawk. You know, to find parking for all of this is a nightmare, but we found this really cool house right here in the middle of all the lakes. And uh, we're about to go eat. What we found was one of the cooler parts of town and uh, Mount Dora itself. It has all these little restaurants with uh, cool balconies or patios and stuff with live music. And so tonight we're gonna, we just all got together from the last event and we're gonna go enjoy dinner somewhere and have a few drinks and uh, start preparing ourselves to start practice because once practice starts, it's, it's all the fun's over. It's all business. Uh, but the house is cool. We got a pool. You always rigging something. You're like, I wonder how this looks in the water. We got a pool. That's that's a big a big deal. We got good weather all week, and it's not in the springtime, so we don't have to worry about some kind of cold front. So hopefully, if you get on something, it'll be consistent through the week. So don't really know what to expect, but I know the weather's nice and. Who doesn't want to be in Florida right now? Good morning. We're here in Tavares, Florida, Leesburg, Florida area, Harris Channel Lakes. Uh, first time I'll be competing here so I did come here and pre-practice before the 30 day off limits but all I did was ride around four of the lakes I rode around Lake Dora Eustis Griffin and Harris and all I did was ride around and mark all the grass beds that I can find and I marked a bunch of brush piles uh, a lot of them man-made and a few inconspicuous ones that I stumbled on so that way whenever I showed up here we only get two days of practice for major league fishing and I wanted to go straight to fishing what I think is going to be the good stuff I didn't want to spend my time in practice looking for it I want to fish it I really feel like just based off my research about the area that these fish like to live offshore especially this time of the year that's my preconceived notion is that it's going to be dominated offshore and um, I didn't want to spend much time looking for those areas so I'm just gonna go right to it right whenever we launched a boat I felt like Griffin Lake was the best looking out of the four that I looked at it seemed like it had the most grass it seems like the most natural lake as far as not a lot of houses on the lake they didn't seem to pelletize the grass like they did the other lakes it just seems healthier and more natural so i'm going to start my practice there the downfall of that lake is is there's about an hour transition between we have to launch in lake harris so i have to go through lake harris through an idle zone through lake eustace through another idle zone then i can be in griffin so it takes about an hour so we get 30 minute runaround time so i'll lose 30 minutes of fishing but we could fish all the way till lines out so i'm not real concerned about it if it's good i just want to get there and i'll be there all day don't have to worry about trying to get back so we don't really know much yet Keep you updated. All right, my brother. Well, y'all take care. Hi, right, later. It started out kind of weird. 
but I wasn't dialed in. I just had a few little pieces of the puzzle and I had to go and fish several different waves before I fully understand what I had going on. I actually started on a really good spot and just didn't know it yesterday. And then today I started on another really good spot. Now, I didn't realize they were good until I realized there wasn't any places like it. So I had to go and explore and everything and kind of come back to it before I realized that I had some pretty good areas. Uh, I'm catching them um, on a rattle trap as, as a spro rattle trap, uh, five eighths ounce, and I'm throwing it with Smackdown braid because the, this grass is kind of is kind of intense. So when a trap gets in there, the only way to efficiently get it out of there and clean the trap is is with braid. So, so I compensated it with a real soft rod, a seven, like a seven six medium light rod on braid. Uh, so that's my my main deal is throwing throwing that trap on on braid light braided line with a real light rod. I can also catch some um, square bill in the outside of grass and uh, and, and a three quarter chatterbait. Um, catching a few good ones every now and then. And, you know, seeing some in the four pound range. The good thing is I'm group B. So tomorrow the score tracker will confirm if I'm on enough fish or not, it's all over but the crying. Let's find out what happens.